First of all, this is not my complete config. I want to do some testing and stuff, and I want to make sure that I can show you guys exactly how I set my config up to make my game look the way I look. It looks. Uh, however, I want to give you guys some of my commands that a lot of people have been asking for that are pretty self-explanatory, and I give them to you one by one. This one right here, this just makes your minimap rotate. You, you just put this into the game in your auto exec, um, which is done by doing this. Hang on. First of all, you go in your launch options, you type plus exec auto exec. After that, you go into your, go into wherever you installed Apex, which for me is on my E drive program files, play Apex, go into CFG, and you have auto exec right here. Legit, everything you do, it's really easy. You copy config default PC, you, you paste it, you change the name of it to auto exec, just like that one and it'll look like this, right? You remove all that, and then you just input these commands I'm about to show you one by one, and then save. Obviously, I'm not using that one. Just make sure that it's named auto exec, and have this be plus exec auto exec. Make sure the for the type of folder, it, or folder is a CFG file and not just a text file. You can't just name it .cmg, you name it auto exec, and have it be a CFG, that's why you copy this one. It's the easiest way to do it. And I'm gonna show you these commands, this one, is your minimap rotating. There's a few more that I'm gonna scroll through. I personally use this one because I like the way it looks and it increases my FPS. Obviously pretty self-explanatory as well. Um, I run this as well to make sure that I force full screen. And you can see that I have just dash full screen and dash force no vsync in my launch options as well, which you can input as well. But these commands are specifically for my auto exec. I also use mask and blur enabled, which will affect, you know, your menu, uh, the, like when you tab, you know, stuff like that, the blur effects on your HUD. I really like this one. I really, really like this one. This one as well to help reduce certain particle effects. The default value is one. You can up it up to like six or something. I play it with it on three uh, because I like the way the game looks. Uh, a few other things like, you know, frame rate and stuff like that. However, I will only be going through a few of them and a lot of them I've already covered. For instance, I also use these uh, as you might have seen in my previous video. I have a bunch of different ones. So basically, my auto exec started off as just every command that I've seen from Portal, Team Fortress 2, Counter-Strike Source, Global Offensive. But along, a lot of my commands don't actually do anything. You can also play with this command and put it to one which will default your pre-rendered frames to one basically, or zero, which will automatically put them into three. I run zero, which is default, because I have my NVIDIA control panel, my 3D settings to enforce pre-rendered frames onto one, which you can see virtually, pre virtual reality pre-rendered frames and maximum pre-rendered frames. Uh, these are my current settings. I run this on for 3D application setting because I was trying to use, I was trying to uncap my FPS with 144 cap, but I run it on off typically. Can I be banned or not? A lot of play in official tournaments with those commands. I played in every single tournament with these commands. Uh, one tournament almost didn't allow one of the commands, and then I said that I'm not playing. Uh, and then they changed it since every other command allowed them. You have to make sure that you read the rules for your for the tournament you're playing in. Uh, so far, the only restrictions tournament that have had in any auto exec are alias scripts, where one user input would be resulting in several actual inputs into the game, which typically is not allowed. So like you, you can't have an automatic bhop alias script or anything like that. Um, as long as it's one to one for every input, uh, it, it's fine. And a lot of the commands that I have been using in my auto exec, they've been removed. I've worked with the developers and they've used my auto exec and a lot of the commands that I've found to patch them out of the game. We're still working on a few as well. And uh, so basically the way it works is as long as it's not desperately game breaking and like giving you an unrealistic advantage, right? You'll probably be fine. If I get banned for using this, then whatever. <laughs> That would be really dumb, but all these commands that I'm showing you are commands that I, I'm currently using. These are all taken from my live auto exec that I use every single day on stream and in every tournament I've played. The particle time scale for clarity is the one that also affects muzzle flash, for instance. You can write this in different ways. You can alias script a shoot, uh, plus shoot, minus shoot, which basically makes it so when you shoot, it activates, and when you don't shoot, it's on default, so it's easier to see. I just like the way the game looks. Uh, I think it looks really clean. But these are some commands that I, I suggest that you might want to try using. I use raw input one as well. Uh, I didn't actually notice a difference in using one and not using one, but using, oops, uh, my M underscore raw input one. I, I do have that in my auto exec. I couldn't confirm if it actually does anything or not, but I, I do have it in there because raw input is always good for me. Uh, I definitely like that. The, the R DXGI max frame latency, it's, um, 
it basically sets the number of command buffers in flight. So zero is default, which defaults to DACGI default of three, but it doesn't really like, you, you have to make sure that you're not enforcing anything through your NVIDIA, which is why mine is a default because you can put it at one and stuff, but if, you, if you're enforcing one already with NVIDIA, putting it to three doesn't matter. Um, but you might try using this if you're not using NVIDIA 3D settings in the same way. Uh, it might work for you, it might make a difference, it might not. Uh, it's pretty easy to reset the default, you just put in the command. The, the thing you have to know though, is that what an auto exit does, imagine if you had a console in Counter-Strike. What it does is, it inputs every command into the console when you launch the game, right? So, if you just remove a command, and if the game remembers your previous setting, it won't default that command back to its default setting if you just remove it. You have to actually input, if you want minimap rotate, and then you want to remove it, you press a zero on it. You just have to reset it to default. So these are all zero and ones, and this one is one through six, and this one is one and zero as well. I think you can do higher, but there's no reason to. So you have to make sure that you just remember the default settings, and if you're not too confident messing with it, then don't use any big changes. Like if you don't know this, or if you don't understand how to re reset anything to default, um, you can read up on it, obviously, but just don't mess with your game because I'm not going to be here for troubleshooting. I'm just teaching you guys what I'm using. Then I found a Reddit thread also. With the Windows update 1809, a lot of games, including Blackout, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and Apex, as you guys probably noticed, with the, you get, you know, the FPS is now uncapped. The maximum cap is 300, as it was supposed to be, not 144. If you're playing on it and it feels like the game is stuttery, it feels like the game just feels bad, it's running not smoothly, you're getting frame skips. It's probably because of the Windows update, which makes it so that you couldn't make the game run in um, exclusive full screen mode anymore, which it's supposed to do, right? It's supposed to. So some of the things you can do for first, go into your Apex Legends EXE uh, properties and disable full screen optimizations. You, you have to do that manual, manually now, basically, on some of these things. You can roll back your Windows update to uh, your Windows 10 to 1803, which should fix it. But you can also do this where you go. This is what I did today before my stream. You go on current user and after current user, you go to system, game config store children, and you control F and search for Apex, which won't work for me because I already deleted it. Current user system. Uh, children, you open this, you see all these weird ass numbers, you search for Apex, it won't pop up for me, but you'll find a folder called Apex Legends, and I deleted it. It was pretty easy. Uh, you just found the Apex Legends, the sub key, you deleted the sub key by right clicking and clicking delete, and now the game runs an exclusive full screen again. It feels really good, it feels way better than it did before. Um, so if you want to find, you don't search for Apex, you search for R5 Apex EXE, I'm pretty sure actually but I already deleted it, so I won't be able to find. What you're doing is, like, the fucking game DVR sh You can't fully disable it with 1809. So what I did, and what other people did, is they just delete the whole, like, path, so the DVR can't find Apex. So you can't disable DVR, but the DVR can't find Apex. So the game is running an exclusive full screen again. And I was playing with 240 and it felt really good. Otherwise, I would have to cap it at 190. I'm still gonna play around and cap it at a number that I like. And, uh, you know, if you're not entirely sure on what to do, don't do it. If the game feels fine to you, don't do it. It's not gonna boost your FPS or anything. Uh, if you know exactly the problems I'm talking about, if you have, you know, basic knowledge, you understand these basic things, uh, you know, you could try it. I did that. Uh, I will link a written explanation below taken from Reddit directly with it, which is the guide that I followed. Um, and it'll be in the description of the YouTube video. Uh, I can post it in the chat as well. If you do this though, make sure you back up the registry uh, so you don't break anything. Uh, so yeah, don't fuck your reg edit up. Don't just delete random shit. Don't just do stupid stuff. Um, if you're not confident in doing it, just don't do it. I'm not liable for you fucking your computer up. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to walk you guys through that. Why well, is the Novid command? Oh, that. Also, if you were previously using my previous auto exec or my previous commands, and if you're having problems launching the game, remove your no vid command. The no vid command can crash your game on launch up for some people for some reason. Pretty stupid, but if you just remove it, you, you'll be fine if you're having that problem. 